Silver Blue versus Workstation, same Fedora, same GNOME desktop, but completely different under the hood. One's immutable, one's traditional. Which one fits your workflow? Hit that subscribe button because we're diving deep into what actually matters. Quick breakdown, Fedora Workstation is traditional Linux. You use DNF to install packages, modify system files directly, and everything's mutable. Silver Blue, it's immutable. The system is read-only, uses atomic updates via rpm o and runs apps through Flatpak and containers. Same look, radically different philosophy. Here's where they actually diverge. System architecture. Workstation uses DNF for package management you install directly to the system. Silverblue uses RPM Austri with atomic image-based updates. Your entire OS gets replaced as a unit during updates, not package by package. This means zero broken updates and instant rollbacks if something fails. Installing software. On Workstation, it's straightforward sudo DNF install anything, restart if needed, done. Silverblue forces you into three paths, flat pack for GUI apps, toolbacks containers for development tools, or layering packages with rpm o which requires a reboot. Layering works, but it's slower and goes against the immutable design. System updates. Workstation updates packages individually using DNF fast, but risks partial updates if interrupted. Silverblue downloads the entire new system image in the background, then you reboot into it. If the update breaks something, you literally just pick the old version from Grub. One-click rollback. No troubleshooting. Stability and security. Workstation gives you full control, edit any system file, tweak anything, but that means malware or bad commands can corrupt your system. Silverblue mounts root as read only. Nothing, not you, not apps, can modify core system files. This drastically reduces attack surface and prevents configuration drift. Developer experience. Workstation wins for flexibility, install any tool system-wide instantly. Silverblue requires using ToolBX containers for CLI tools, which isolates your dev environment but adds friction. If you're deep into system level development or need custom kernel modules, Workstation is less hassle. Silverblue shines for containerized workflows and reproducible environments. Real world gotchas. On Silverblue, some apps need extra permissions to access your home directory through Flatpak. IDEs like VS Code need workarounds to integrate with system tools. And layering too many packages defeats the purpose. Workstation has none of these issues but lacks the safety net. Bottom line, choose Workstation if you want maximum flexibility, need system level access, or hate rebooting for package installs. Choose Silverblue if you prioritize rock solid stability, want bulletproof rollbacks, and can embrace flat pack and containers. Silverblue is the future, but Workstation is battle tested today. That's the real difference. Drop which one you're running in the comments, smash like, and check the description for Fedora download links. Peace.